It's been a rough work day The bounce is busting your ass All you can think of is a nice cold glass of beer and sunshine Life can get you down But you can take all the lids Nothing in this world not a beer and sunshine Cannot fizz Oh, it's a beautiful day for some beach and tan Grab a few friends, put your feet in the sand With some beer and sunshine Oh, oh, beer and sunshine Yeah, beer and sunshine Audience. Welcome to another exciting episode of Beer and Sunshine. Uh, today, today we've got the Pasco Brewers Guild with us. This is going to be a really good show. It's going to be fun. And uh, what is today? Isn't today a, a holiday of some kind? Today yeah. is International Superhero Day. Woo <laughs> What's happening? This is Harley Quinn. If you guys don't know, if you're not uh, comic book fans, Harley Quinn it was that movie that was a uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah. She was in that. But I'm the, I'm the old school Harley Quinn <laughs> from the... <laughs> The DC comics and and all that. Awesome. So. Well, you, you, at some point you must model this costume. You know, you have to have to you have to show the world. Oh, well, look, your head got cut off. That's awesome. Oh well, that's all right. <laughs> cool. Well, this is I gonna can put, be. I'm gonna put the hammer down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what this is episode number five now. We've made it five episodes so far. Nice. It's unbelievable. Yay! Yeah, Woo! Thank you, studio audience. We have an awesome studio audience here, as you can hear. Um, but uh, what's been going on? What happened this week to you, Harley Quinn? Um, well, last night I actually went out to Marker 48. They had their um, spring release where they brought the barrel up from an undisclosed area. Nobody knows the where cave. they... Probably the back cave. I don't know. It's in a spring, but they brought it up and it's like, it's very tasty. And then we stuck around for some barbecue and some karaoke. So it was a lot of fun. Nice. What did you do this week? I well, I got, <clears throat> I had an adventurous day yesterday. So, yesterday I uh, took uh, one of my motorcycles out. It's a custom bike, and uh, my my brakes both operate off of the foot brake, and it was my own design, and it was poorly engineered, and it exploded basically, and I had no brakes rolling down the road. And I was able to Fred Flintstone stop, and uh, <laughs> so I, I made it. Uh, I'm getting harassed by a chicken. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> just because. But, Your story sometime, but you know. Then I, is, I played laser tag at Big Top. They yes. made me play. They, they gave me sne they got sneakers for me out of the back because I told them I had boots on, and they gave me sneakers. So I. Played, so how was it? Do you, do you do you do you drink beer and play laser oh, yeah. tag at the same time? Oh yeah, lots of beer. Yeah. So lots the drunker you get, the harder it is to play, or the easier uh, the it is easier, to play. Easier for sure, because you don't feel the aches and pains of like my crappy knees and stuff like that. But it's awesome. Laser tag is really fun. Big Top, I think they're going to do it again. They're kind of do that regularly. We had a bunch of kids there and stuff. It was, it was a lot of fun. Kids drinking beer. Well, at a small cups, you know, that's oh, what those little cups are cups? for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no kids were nice. drinking beer. <laughs> not, not that I saw. Mm -hmm. I don't so, know. Um, also, again, as we do at the beginning of our shows, I want to thank David Epps oh, for yeah. our beautiful song, which I still tear up whenever I hear it, Sing it awesome. in the Car. So, David Epps is on Instagram, Epps37. And also, Palm City Tap Handles, who made our beautiful. Beer and sunshine taps. Yeah, they're cut. I think they're cut off. They're we cut off, but that's fine. Them, but but I wanted to say thanks to Greg because super cool. it was really nice for him to do that for us so yeah. that we can actually get the beer out because it was really hard sucking on those hoses to get the beer out, I'll tell you. Yeah, <laughs> it's like uh, siphoning gas from a car, but better. Exactly. It tastes delicious. Exactly. Well, I'd rather have this than And we've got, we've got some good beer here today. So the, the, the guys here from the Pasco Brewers Guild mm. brought us uh, an IPL, an India, India Pale Lager. I think, is that right? Yeah. yeah. And it's really delicious. This is really good. Uh, we had beer in there. He had a had an amber from Big Top. We, that one kicked. I think we finished that. Well, or the guys here in the studio. Uh, we finished do. It. We do yeah. drink a lot of beer on this show. We do. We so do. So it didn't yeah. last very long. Yeah. So anyway, Tommy, I was going through the channels the other day. Mm -hmm. You know, just looking at what's on TV sure. and the commercials, and I came across this commercial. You remember our friends at uh, Beer Vats and Be Gone? Yeah, the, the well, Shower Buddy guys. Yeah, well, now they've come up with this uh, new product called um, Hose, and if the producer doesn't mind, maybe he can run that commercial and you can take a look at it for yeah, us. Yeah, 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 do that. Let's just check this out. Does this look familiar? Trying to fill up the pool because you want to cool off on a hot, sunny day. Well, that sure looks like it's going to take a while. What if I told you there was a better way? That's right, Billy. From the makers of Shower Buddy, Beer Vats and Be Gone, we bring you Hose. 
Using Space Age technology, a cylindrical tube carries H2O from point A to point B. You'll be chilling in the pool, drinking a nice cold craft beer with your buds in no time. Hose is available at all pet stores, gas stations, homeless shelters, and find any restaurants. No chickens or puppies are harmed in making this commercial. <laughs> awesome. What the I, hell, I chicken? <laughs> chicken? Oh. You give him, like, he was on the show last week, and now he thinks he's now a he's freaking star. Now he's doing commercials. Star. Oh, come on. What is that, Superman cape or something? Yes, it is. Super, super chicken. chicken. Super awesome. lame chicken. Yeah, super yeah, lame. Yeah, chickens don't fly. Get out of here. He's going to crash into something. <laughs> yeah. We well. could only hope for that much. All right, and so today, we're gonna the drinking game today, if you've been watching the show every week, we teach you a new drinking game. The drinking game today is called Thinking and Drinking. A lot of people probably heard of this one, probably played it. It's real simple. Um, we'll play around here in a few. And what you do is you think of the name of a celebrity. So, for instance, you say Tom Cruise, and the person next, the person next to you goes, and they have to think of a celebrity's name that starts with the first letter of the last name. So, Tom Cruise. Next person would say uh, Carlos Santana, maybe, or something like that. And you keep going. But as you're thinking, because you, you'll forget, you, you're drinking. Oh. So, if you can't think of something, awesome, you get smashed. Oh, I Perfect. see. Perfect. <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing new for me. <laughs> well, 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 we'll do it here in a few. Let's uh, let's introduce uh, sure. the folks, some of the guys here, guys and, and gals from the Pasco Brewers Guild. Well, thanks, right. thanks for coming, guys. And thank you. So um, anyway, um, we're going to introduce them. Um, this is Mike and Jeff yep. and Corey and beautiful Nicole and Ray, and we met these guys at. Um, McMickey's, old McMickey's farm yep, when yep, we were there. I remember. And they were brewing out of a garbage can, which I thought was hilarious. Super so we, cool. We have a garbage can here today full of beer, which is awesome. Um, and I'm not sure um, if the producer has that ready for me, but we would like to roll a little clip of when we met them at, cool. uh, at yeah. the festival. Let's check it out. Or maybe. I'm at Infusion Brewing and I am with Jeff Ashline from Pasco Brewers Guild, and he was gracious enough to ask us to come and be part of their meeting and get to meet some of the other people that brew with you. And we are tasting your New England, New IPA. England IPA, which is like a seven. 7.8 percent, um, real easy drinker. It is. It's Juicy like, beer, as yeah. they say. Um, my wife named it. She named it Sunny and Share, like give it to people. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Sun, sunny, S-U-N-N-Y? Yep. Sunny and Cher. She's a genius. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. Well, that was Infusion. We did meet them at Old McMickey's, yes. but that's when I got to speak with them at Infusion <clears throat> during their um, their meeting. And I got to meet Nicole, who apparently names all of the beers. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. That's nice. she's, so, well, she's, the, she's the, clearly the most intelligent one of the group. She's, <laughs> she's, the, she's the witty one. Right, we, right. Begged, we begged her to come on Brains the show, to be on camera. Beauty, so, she's pretty yes. funny. She is as, as I'm sure you'll get to see once she drinks a little bit more beer, and then, <laughs> yeah. of course, she'd probably go crazy. So, well, cool. So, uh, obviously, Pasco Brewers Guild, all you guys live in the Pasco area? Yep. yep. Yeah? Yeah. And do you guys have a, a favorite brewery or some breweries that you really enjoy that, that, uh, that you hang out at in this I area? I don't think we have a favorite, per se. Mm -hmm. We just meet at all the local breweries in Pasco, and we're making our ways around. I mean, we got, I think we're at our fifth meeting, so... Right, right. Our next one, we're gonna have it at Fusion again because great host, great brewery, yes, but good so, guys over so there. So your, so your, your uh, organization, the Brewers Guild here, is is pretty young then. You guys, yeah, just uh, November last year. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, I was uh, I was brewing for a little bit, and um, I was getting into so much that I wanted to be a part of a brew club. Yeah. Right? And I was searching and searching, and there was nothing. Mm -hmm. So I got with Mike. I said, I'm gonna start my own. He's like, go for it. So. Now, is there, is there, are there any formalities to creating your own uh, Brewers Guild or beer club? Did you have? Well, is there anything official about it? You don't have to, but I did <laughs> register with the American Home Brewers Association, and cool. uh, that way we're yep. registered. So when we go do a festivals or events, they look us up. Like um, we just got invited to the Cajun Cafe Sour Fest in June, right. and um, he Wait, actually looked that, us where up. Where's that going to be? That's Cajun Cafe down in Pinellas Park. Okay, My the old park. Yeah, I think Friday, it's June seventeenth. Yeah. Nice. All, 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 the, all the 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 all the dirty white folks of Florida. <laughs> not, yeah. not, well, I mean, actually, all can, the folks of Florida are pretty that? dirty. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a friend. I, his name we called him the Gimp. He got into a motorcycle accident and he's, he had a banged up leg. 
but he came into $1.2 million. And uh, me and this Whoa. guy. Party. Oh, yeah, let me tell you, it was a party. He bought a Ferrari, and uh, I had just come into town. <laughs> and uh, and uh, uh, here we go. Him. Tell was me like, story. Tell story. Me, chicken? Fine. Anyway, we had, did have a lot of fun. It was, it was, it was a blast. Spent a week in Miami. It was fun. It was awesome. But, uh, um, okay, so, did, so did yeah. Did he blow so, through all his millions? What's that? <laughs> did he blow through the Oh, money? he went through all his money and then some. Yeah, for sure. Right. I, I, I heard at one point he was homeless after oh. that, but I'm not surprised. That's not nice. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so, all right, so you started, you started the Brewers Guild, <clears throat> yep. and then did, were you guys, you guys were all friends? No, we did, uh, just Mike and I pretty much. Um, I started it and I and I put it on Facebook, one of the best social media sites there is, right. sure. especially for this stuff. And um, all of a sudden, people were just requesting mm -hmm. to be joined. And I was surprised how many home brewers there was in Pasco County. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I set up a meeting at Rebel Dog and mm -hmm. took off from there. So how many members do you have? We're at 56 right now. 56? Yeah, 56. So now you have 55 new friends that you never knew you had. Yep, mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> Correct. That's awesome. Yep. That's the power of beer. Cheers to Cheers. craft beer. Cheers. Cheers to beer. We need to get you a refill. I think we're about, we're about to go to commercial here in a minute anyway. Yeah. So uh, we do that for sure. So we'll, we'll fill up we'll, on beer. We'll get all topped off. And when we come back, we will start a round of our, uh, of our drinking game. That's right. Little thinking drinking. So everybody out there, get your teams. There's Team Tommy, Team Christina, and Team Pasco Brewers Guild. And of course, Team Chicken, as much as I hate to say it. <laughs> yeah. So grab your drinks and we'll be back after this break. <laughs> And we're back. Woo well, thanks. If you're, if you're obviously still watching. If you're still watching, awesome. You're going to get some awesome beer knowledge from these guys and uh, I'm sure some silly nonsense from chickens and <laughs> superheroes. I don't even know what he's super doing villains. Back there. Yeah, he thinks he's a magician now, probably. I don't know what you're doing with my cards, but Holocron's <laughs> not too happy about that. Beat him with the hammer. Drop the hammer. Yeah. 
Yeah. So <clears throat> we're going to start the drinking game. Yeah, let's do a round. And we're going to start with Corey. All right, let's do it. Thinking and drinking. Thinking right. and drinking. So I have to think of a famous person. Yep. yep. And she's going to come up with the, the, my last name of the famous person. She's got to come the up with the first letter person. of the last name, right. the person you yeah. said. Okay. She's got to come up with All one right. herself. <laughs> All right. Can I drink while I'm thinking sure too? Sure you can. Yeah, that's how it goes. You, you drink while you're thinking. All right. Drinking and thinking. How do I talk? It's <laughs> a great question. <laughs> Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> Down to drink. You got to drink, Nicole. You're H thinking. Hendrix. <laughs> well, it's not a whole. You got to have a first and a last name. You keep drinking. Keep uh, drinking. Hen Henry Winkler. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. Got to drink. Oh. Henry Winkler. Hmm. He's got to be. W dr why aren't you drinking, Ray? What's happening? Mm -hmm. It's like it's cheating, uh, cheating at a drinking right? game. That's. Oh, Wally Dollenback. <laughs> Who in the world? All right, we, can we call time and verify that this person exists? Uh, I don't know. Is that a real <laughs> person? Race car driver. Oh, it's a race okay. car driver. Okay. Jeff's right. turn. Don Knotts. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Oh. No. No, not starts with a K. With a K. Okay. Not starts with a K. Oh, uh, you, you, the K you, is silent right, like in Knife. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt Russell. Uh, Russell Crowe. Yeah, Chris Christopherson. All right, I think. Hey, that's that. That's, All right. that's, that's probably good Chris, enough. Christian Slater. Oh, let's keep okay. it going then. Fine. Slayer. That's a band. That's and it not has to be two <laughs> names. <laughs> it has to be two names. <laughs> Stop your cheating, Nicole. Yeah, she's cheating. <laughs> Steven Tyler. There you go. Yeah. All right. I need to well, think of a two. This is a fun game. I love it. Oh, while, uh, while, they, while they keep this going here, uh, tell us about this. Tinker Taylor. Made, this. Wait. <laughs> what was it? What was it? Tinker Taylor. <laughs> Tinker Taylor. Okay. Tommy. <laughs> it's a T name. There's a lot of famous T people. Oh, it's Jeff. He just wants yeah. to drink. Yeah. Tommy Jeff Victor. Oh, he's, 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 he's got, these guys have microphones here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did a little uh, bit too much thinking there. We're, lo we're losing viewers by the second. Vince <laughs> Neal. Vince Neal. Um, Natalie Portman. Chicken. Yeah. Oh. Peter Chris. Okay. All right, it's good. That's, That's good. good. That's enough that game. I was gonna, we'll, we'll I was gonna we'll say that this. same this chicken's thing. Chicken's like tearing <laughs> stuff apart that. here. We'll come. We'll come back to this game, of course. <laughs> this, this, uh, we'll, we'll do another round here in a few. But uh, so, t tell me about this beer. What's What's up with this beer? It's right? India Pale Lager. Um, I, I use a, a program called Beersmith to, to design my recipes. And um, one night I was in bed and I was using it on my iPad. There's a mobile version and there's the laptop version. Mm -hmm. And uh, I made this recipe. I was reading about traditional pilsners and the history of it. And I was putting one together, so it sounds pretty good. So I put it together and I brewed it. And I brew from an iPad in, in my little brewery. It's a lot easier with the timer and everything. It keeps track of everything as you're going along. And um, I brewed it and it was fermenting, so I transferred the recipe to my laptop to fill in all the notes of the brew session. And my IBUs jumped from 30 to 55. There's a glitch in the system from and the, the IB, mobile. IBUs or what are the IBUs? International bitter, bitter units. Okay. And that tells you how bitter the beer is. But um, so when I transferred it, it jumped 25 points. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So there was a glitch from the mobile version to the desktop version. Mm -hmm. So it finished off, but uh, <coughs> came out really good. So cool. And then, so you said you use an iPad to, to control stuff, or you're just recording things just, and using that just that timer, and uh, you can go back and look at your notes, and you can see when to add your hops and and when what temperatures you're using, depending on what you're brewing. That's a pretty cool setup. How long did it take you to put this this whole setup together? How long have you been brewing? <laughs> um, the first brew was uh, July 30th last year. Shut Damn. the front door. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty, what about what about wow. you guys? But like Corey, what what about you? you? You're obviously you guys all brew. Yep. Do you brew as well, Nicole, or, or no? I clean up. I help clean up. You clean up. She helps. And you drink. She does. She does and brew. And you're she names them. Name yeah. them. <laughs> you're the tester. The tester. <laughs> I'm probably the least experienced brewer of the group. Uh, a good friend of mine, you know, talked me into it. Mm -hmm. um, Unfortunately, we weren't able to, to brew when he lived down here, but he came back to visit. And in the meantime, somebody I work with gave me a kit. Okay. So I was going to ask, how did you get started? Yeah, so I took kit? that kit. It was a gallon kit. <clears throat> I took the kit, and I went up to uh, Southern Brewing in Tampa in Seminole Heights, 
And I said, I don't want to, you know, this, this recipe in this kit is for an IPA and I don't want an IPA. So he's like, that's easy. We can just add some grains and some uh -huh. chocolate malts and change the recipe. So we went back to the house and my buddy who originally talked me, you know, into it, came back to visit. And while he was visiting, we went and spent a day brewing. Cool. And I was hooked ever since. And what, so and what, what would you guys do differently? And Ray, you, you, you brew as well, right? Yes. What, what, now that you guys have been brewing for a while, right, uh, what would you do differently? Or if you're, you're going to give advice to someone who wants to start brewing, what, what, how would you get somebody started? What would you, what would you tell them to do? Just well, go out and do it. Yeah. But like, what kit should they get or where should they get it and you know, all that kind of stuff? How I started, right. my uh, sons bought me a Mr. Beer kit, okay. which comes with a little brown keg uh -huh. and comes with a little can of extract. Right. And, uh, like that one over there? Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Beer. <laughs> and uh, comes with a little package of yeast. And you read, you know, I read the instructions, went through right. the whole process, you know, put the beer in a dark place. You're not supposed to look at it and let light get at it. <laughs> you don't, know, say, I, don't say yeah. the name of the beer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. yeah. So, you know, when it was done, uh, you know, I, I bottled the beer and then I let it condition in the bottle for about three weeks and cracked that first beer and, oh, it was god awful. <laughs> really? Yes, but it tweaked my interest enough to mm -hmm. move up. You know, and I went and bought a real, you know, beer kit that, right. you know, has a little more to it with steeping grains and extracts. And, is, uh, is that is that an actual kit kit? Like, what's the name of that kit? What, well, you know, a lot of the uh, suppliers have kits which has buckets or, or glass carboys, mm -hmm. and that's what you ferment your beer in. Mm -hmm. And they also have the pots and whatnot. So I started out, I think, with a hundred dollar kit yep, right. from the Mister Beer kit, and moved on up. And now I just finished my system. I have a two pot brew in the bag system, mm -hmm. two 16 gallon pots yeah. with a uh, heat exchanger. So, and what, how much money do you have into that setup? Oh, like, what, what, what can somebody spend on a really, really nice, nice setup? Uh, you can, you can spend on a really nice setup, thousands. Yeah, yeah. thousands. Yeah, and like I, two I, grand, three grand, ten. Yeah, grand? I have. Probably, oh yeah, I have easy, probably two thousand. What two, I have. Two grand. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'm probably around forty five hundred. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. See, now I'm asking these questions because I know if I'm if I get into something, <clears throat> I kind of want to know what I'm getting myself into. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And for sure, you know, knowing what things cost gives somebody a good idea. Like if somebody, you know, watches a show at some point and decides, oh man, I've always wanted to do that. I, I would love for this for this conversation to give them as much information right. from start to finish. You know I what mean, I mean? You can make a really good beer right on your stove top. Yep. Really? A couple of nice big pots, get, a, get yourself a carboy, and you get yourself the pitchable yeast, which mm -hmm. comes, you smack the pack. It grows over three hours. You pitch in your beer when it's done, and you're making beer. Well, I mean, what you, you could, really can make a good beer for very little. Wow! What really? you could do is maybe linger around somebody who's maybe has a kit they don't want anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. inherit it. Like right. I right. Well, my, my my wife's been talking about buying me a kit uh, for years. I actually had a buddy who was going to give me one. I just for whatever reason I never took it. But uh, <clears> but yeah, I, I've got definitely planned on doing it myself. My neighbor, one of my neighbors, brews. He makes some really really delicious beer. Really good stuff. Yep. Um, I would encourage to do extract first because you're missing a couple steps that will simplify you getting your beer. Yep. You've got some kits like Cooper, you can only boil for 20 minutes mm -hmm. and you're done. They're already pre-hopped uh, extracts. Yep. And, um, but, it, now what's, but what's the fun in doing that if it's like a pre-made? Because it gets your deal. feet wet yeah, before you, you spend, like if you spend four or $500 on a kit, you're like, well, I don't want to do this. You're only spending like 100 Got gotcha. you know, Good. working on a, a, Cause if, a plastic. Because if, if you screw it up, you yeah, just wasted you're a bunch of, of money, money on it. Yeah. 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 My, I remember being a kid and my dad got one of those kits. This was like, of course, I'm a little old. but <laughs> So he had one of these and he was all excited and he made his beer and he bottled it and everything and put it down in the basement because it has to sit. Sit for a condition. And we were, right? and we were upstairs and we were playing cards or whatever and all of a sudden we heard, pop. Oh, oh, Didn't think oh. anything of it. Pop. <laughs> and he was like, don't go down there, don't go down there, because all the um, bottles were like exploding. Yeah. I don't know what beer happened. Bombs. If, beer what was bomb. that? Well, beer bombs. So how yeah. does that happen? Is it you bottle it too soon? No, or? Uh, probably too much yeast, too much bottling it sugar. Wasn't done, it wasn't done, oh, okay. yeah. it wasn't ready for the uh, bottle yet. And probably. does that happen a lot? Like, It's never happened to me, but because I try to follow the when your uh, gravity finishes in a beer. I think my dad was just in a hurry. Right, he right. wanted to hurry up and get it bottled so yeah, that he could. I think most of us bottled. It. Well, Mike Mike bottled for a while. Right. I bottled Ray, did you while. bottle? I bottled once. Once, well, yeah. You, and it was I didn't. And the beer I bottled mm -hmm. was the Mr. Beer Kit bottle. Right. That's right. what I bottled. Yeah. 
and uh, and somebody at Big Storm, we were I was at Big Storm talking about brewing beer, and there was a brewer there, and he says, "You'll be kegging before you know it." Yeah, and he was yeah. right. Once I went to kegs, so I went right I to kegs, and it's so yeah. much easier. And it uh, is. so when you did the Mr. Beery's kit, because I know it comes with plastic bottles. Is that what you use with the plastic bottles, or did, did you do glass? I did glass at, with the plastic because mm -hmm. I had more beer than mm -hmm. bottles, and uh, you know it just was a pain. Now I, I bottle beer out of the keg now. Right. But you know, so it's mobile. Yeah. Okay. Um, what kind of keg do you use at home? Like, what's what's a keg you would use at your house? Like? Cornelius is a corny corny yeah. keg. It's corny a home keg. brewer's keg. It used to be the old Pepsi and Coca Cola syrup mm -hmm. uh, kegs. Yes. And they're great for home brewing. They have a big opening, so you, you know, I I even ferment in kegs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Easy to clean. Yeah. Yeah. So what are what are all the com what are all the <clears throat> components of beer? For obviously, you have different kinds of beer, right? Different yeah. kinds of beer use different kinds of ingredients. Well, but you got malt. Number one, the Mal water. Reinholds Cabot. Right? Yeah. yeah, if you want to go with the old German. Uh, Reinholds Cabot. Then it was at 18. <laughs> the purity law from Germany, but back in something. the 17, 1800s, yeah. they were only allowed. Four it was that old? Yeah. Really? Yeah, 15, something was at three, and then they added the hops. Yeah, they, didn't know, they, they knew about yeast, but they didn't know what it was and mm -hmm. how it worked. Mm -hmm. So they only had three ingredients back then, but now they allow four ingredients. But, I mean, that's the Germany old purity law that uh, some people do follow it, but. You know, is that still, is it still kind of like is it that, that, you know, uh, beer 101? There's like three or four ingredients. Is that right. like a basic yep, beer? Pretty much, beer yeah. must have these four things in it uh -huh. when yep. they brew them: water, yeast, malt, and hops. hops. And what what are all, what are your favorite kinds of beer to to make? What do you guys like brewing? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. How I like it? my I, I do stouts. I'm more of a malt kind of guy. Okay. I'm not. Mm. I do enjoy some hoppy beer mm -hmm. but you know that's not my favorite mm -hmm. and I, I tend to go after the the darker beers and there and they are more forgiving so and a lot of new people you know when they get into the hobby you know when they taste a hoppy beer like an ipa yeah. they just make a face so mm -hmm. i try not to have them try that first you know tend to right. go to the maltier or lighter type styles of beer sure sure Do yeah. any of you make a pilsner you're proud of yeah, this one right here. Yeah, it's a, you said that you would consider this a pilsner then. That is a pilsner. Is a pilsner. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, in the India Pale Lager. Yep. Is yeah. you consider a pilsner? Okay. Yeah. It is right. good. I really yeah, like it. It's, it's pilsner malt. He used yeah, a, he used right. a pilsner malt. Uh, your IPAs are, are can be two row or Maris Otter. Pale different malt. kinds of malt. Pale, pale malt. malt. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I like cool. to do porters, which are. I like to do porters, which are not much different than stouts, really. There's a very small, thin line between them. Yeah. So. Okay, so then what's the difference between a porter and a stout? Go ahead. <laughs> well, the book says, and what I read, is that a uh, porter used to be the runoffs from a stout. So the stout typically was the stronger, darker beer. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then as they pulled the water and the, and the, and the wort, because that's what it is before it's called beer, it's wort. It's a mm -hmm. sweet, malty, very tasty yeah. mm -hmm. liquid. Then once they get the um, the desired darkness for the stout, then they you, then they run the what they call is the runnings of the same malt uh, from the mash tun, and yeah. they make porter out of it. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. that's not so true today. You know where the name came from, Ray? No, I do. Porter. Um, yeah, that's right. That's right. So all the porters that worked on the ships to get all the freight off the ships, that's what they served them. Really? It was a cheap beer. Oh, the so beer. some right. beer knowledge. <clears throat> and we're, we're about to go to commercial here in, in, a, in a few seconds. So uh, we'll be right back with some more awesome beer knowledge. Yes. And what other, other we're learning craziness. We're a lot about beard, yeah. But uh, we'll see you in a minute. Stick around.
we're back. I hope everybody got a refill because we're going to play another um, another round of our drinking game. But before we start, I wanted to ask about this garbage can dispenser because I fell in love with it the first time I saw <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, it's pretty who, cool. Who well, came up with that idea? I did. You did. Uh, yep. Uh, last November, I uh, entered a brew contest at Rat Brewing called Movember Fest, and. I got everything together and I'm like, okay, how am I gonna serve my beer? So I said, okay, I need a vessel. Uh, I didn't, I couldn't afford a jockey box. So I was like, well, I'm not putting that together. So I'll just, what's, a, what's a jockey box? A jockey box is a cooler <laughs> with a stainless steel coil. Uh -huh. That's like 50 feet long. It's coiled up inside a cooler and you wrap it with ice. Mm -hmm. Now we just have your keg on the ground. Goes as the beer the goes, goes through it, it, it cools yeah. it. Yeah, sure. Right. I was like, well, you know what? Went to Home Depot, picked up a $15 garbage can, <laughs> drilled a hole in it. I remember when it you held did that. my kegs. It yeah. held my CO2 bottle. I put two taps on it. And I was That's serving. Awesome. Yeah, if you, you guys can't see it, um, maybe we'll get a picture of it. There we'll show it maybe on the, uh, another show or something. But it's it's like you said a like a it's, how many gallons? It's uh, I think it's a thirty something gallon. Like your typical your typical one you use gallon, out in the yard trash, to pick up your trash, yeah, trash pick can. up your your leaves. You know you, and put, you put, the, put holes in it and then put taps on it and it looks it's yeah. pretty cool simple but yeah, it's it, cool, it, it well, it's, it's cool because it looks like it's trash on the outside but it's good definitely in the not trash on the inside <laughs> right, right. yeah that's it's pretty great yeah. it really this is a really 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 good beer now, have you, you yeah. seen anybody else using the same no, idea no? no oh they will now yeah <laughs> yeah and then when you guys came to old mcmickey's i had yeah, two had, of them yeah two of them, I had two of them going because i had i think we had five beers so mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. nice nice yeah so for those of you that don't know you know the show beer and sunshine is all about beer uh, breweries in the Tampa Bay area for you know beer and sunshine and uh, when we started this thing uh, about a year ago or so there's like 40 breweries now there's like a hundred and sixty different breweries and, and and it's growing it's the, the beer scene here in the Tampa area is completely insane it, it's there's just so much beer to drink here I don't, I don't know so right, I gotta spend is. more I need to work less probably and to spend more time drinking beer so <laughs> while, while we have them here I wanted to ask them yeah. because we've been talking about different festivals and stuff that come up and you guys are going to be taking part in a festival that's coming up soon in Temple Terrace is yep. that it? Temple, Terra Bruce, uh, Temple Terrace Brew Fest um, we have uh, 10 beers brewed for it and uh, the Pasco Brewers Guild put them all together and I uh, messaged the woman who was putting it on for the city of Temple Terrace, and uh, she accepted us. And where's Where's Temple Terrace? That, that's it's uh, North Tampa. North Tampa. Okay, yeah. it's just north of Tampa. Yeah, right? it's yeah. a yeah, it's a little part of uh, oh. little part of Tampa. <laughs> Look, right the here. chicken brought Yay. us again. Right. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, chicken. <laughs> it is carbonated. See, carbonated. chicken is useful once in a while. That's <laughs> okay. awesome. So this is this is Angela. Hi. And I met Angela at Infusion when I went to um, the meeting. And Angela is uh, very interesting. We had a great conversation with her. And I didn't want to cut Jeff off. I felt bad. But we had to bring Angela in. She kind of sure. got she kind of got a little... More chicks. Yeah. Not chicken, uh, not chicken. Not chicken but chicks. chicks. Right, right. Yeah. Cool. Nice to meet you, Angela. I don't nice. think we met uh, Tommy, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's all right. GPS was not my friend today. <laughs> I, I hear you. I, think I, made, I almost made that mistake myself. But, uh, I promise I didn't open this till I got here. What do you got there? What, what is that? <laughs> so this is our apple of my pie wheat. Nice. So I promise I've heard that about I'm it. Woo -hoo! I'm um, so excited. So we have a little bit of water that can coat the rim. This one we brewed on Jeff's system, and it was a little bit different. Scaling up doesn't always equate one-to-one. -one. So this one ended up being a little overcarbonated, hence the, the foaming here. Okay, um, so what do you so need? A Apple of my pie. Is that the one where you have to slam the sugar and then drink the beer? <laughs> right. But we need uh, water so we can... We need a little bit of water, chicken. So we can Make yourself uh, useful. Make yourself useful. <laughs> so the Fly right. over right. to uh, the, the <laughs> sink or something. So what we're going to do is we're going to wet the rim a little bit, and then we're going to... Does it work if I lick it? Could but be, I don't know if it works. Why don't you just spit in everybody's Nobody mouth? Let's we'll see that, Mike. Just we'll spit that. in everybody's yeah. mouth. Just yeah. do that. Well, while we're, while we're ah, waiting we for go. the water, here we go. Here we go. Angela. This is why you're a master okay. brewer. That's why he's a oh, master Oh, look at brewer. this. There we go. What a genius. Brilliant. But Angela um, made this brew for Hops for Heroes. Uh huh. So, Angela, why don't you tell everybody the little story behind the Hops for Heroes? Right. So, we that was our very first. Thank you. 
went as a group, so it was a lot of fun. So Hops for Heroes uh, was a brew fest where we had professional brewers and home brewers. There were about 10 different homebrew groups. Wow. And we had a, a competition, and it was all for a Wounded Warrior Project. Uh, so it was for a good cause, and uh, it was a, a lot of fun where we were able to... <laughs> it worked a little bit better there. <laughs> I think I got it a little bit wetter. <clears throat> and so you guys made this beer for that uh, that event, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what? They won. Oh, really? They beat yeah. out everybody. It was like <laughs> <laughs> it was like they even beat out Big Storm. <laughs> even beat Big Storm. Even right. beat Big Storm. Yeah. She didn't have any of this at Holy the meeting. Holy crap! She had. Remember, I was talking about the cucumber colch that I had. Uh -huh. what, what was the name of the cucumber that we had? A poolside cold cumber. That was like amazing, and she didn't have any of this, but she promised that she would bring me some. This so smells right. like when you when you make that instant Quaker oatmeal, and oh it has God, the apples in it. Oh my God, that smells so good. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what this smells like. Yeah. I wish oh, you guys amazing. had smell a vision <laughs> If you guys could have seen the line, so there was oh my eight God. homebrew clubs. Tastes like apple yeah, pie. Good lord, there was eight homebrew like, clubs. Candy. And there was I think a total of thirty homebrews. Oh my and we took first with this, and second, and third with a couple of our yeah. other brews. So we that's took awesome. swept Oh my it. gosh! Congratulations! Sweet. That's really delicious. It's I've been great. talking that's about this delicious. like since you told me, and yeah. I've been dying you, to taste it. And I'm so glad it. that you brought it. That yeah. is like, yeah, thank you and very we'll much. be serving this in Temple Terrace as well. Yes, so if anyone else wants to try it, yep. we'll have oh five gallons to give away. Awesome. See, there's going to be people lining up even before the festival begins. They'll be like all down the road. Are we going? Are we doing that festival? In Temple, I'm hoping to do that one. We have I 10 different beers ready to go for it. Well, anybody that's yeah. watching this, if you have a request for a costume that you'd like Christina to wear there, <laughs> we can make her do it. <laughs> Enough people request it, she'll do it. Yep. Yeah. Maybe your Playboy bunny outfit. Mm -mm. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe a bunny outfit again. That'd that be is good. fantastic. Or, or, or Peter Chris. <clears throat> Peter cool. Chris. And so, Angela, so you're a brewer as well, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, so how, how long have you been brewing? Oh, probably about uh, eight years. Oh, so wow. Yeah, so, so I started like, out working at... Uh, longer than everybody else here? or <laughs> are, are you Have you been brewing the longest out of this group? I think so. I yeah, I think so. so yeah. Yeah. Wow, all right. So I oh. started out working at the Research Pilot Brewery at Anheuser-Busch, and so I really fell in love with the art and science of brewing. Uh, and then when I left Anheuser-Busch, I still wanted to keep brewing, so my husband and I took up home brewing, and so we just have it as a hobby and uh, have a good time with it, but we definitely brew more now and have more fun with the Pasco Brewers Guild, awesome. and uh, Jeff has an amazing system, so getting yeah, to brew on his system was a lot of fun. Cool watch it. I so, think, yeah, when, last, week, last week when we were at uh, Rebel Dog, is it Rebel Dog? Mm -hmm. Yep. Somebody, one, of you, one of you guys, I thought, maybe Mike, you were telling me that he had a really awesome system. It's outstanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then your goal, too, Jeff, is to, is to you want to start a brewery yeah, somewhere. I actually started applying for my brewer's notice, so. Nice, so nice. Hopefully within a year, we'll be up and running. Cool, um, sweet. Right well, now, we'll be there. I'm looking at Wesley Chapel, so hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. like we told you, you know, Clearwater, those guys were just giving, giving away yeah. tons of money and that I think it's going to be a cool spot eventually. I think it's going to be a fun place to hang it out, be, be, a, yeah. be a destination, you know? So, um, do you think it's going to be different, the transition from home brewing as opposed to, you know, brewing for a business? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's going to be different, but my whole purpose is I want to keep it a small batch brewery. Mm -hmm. So I get the home brew taste. Right. At a smaller commercial Correct. level, right. yeah, because there's some of them that are small. When they and get when big, they, yeah. you know what happens? Their beer is right. like it's good, but it wasn't like it used to be. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So right. I want to keep it. And small. what about the rest of the business? What ideas do you have there as far as like what kind of atmosphere do you want the place to to, to have? It's going to be just a. Uh, it's going to be your local homebrew tap house, tap, tap house. house, commercial size, but it's going to be you know maybe a couple thousand square feet, uh, really homey pretty close to a subdivision where people are coming home from work they can stop by or they can ride their bikes from the house maybe make it make it a little bit different than all the other breweries instead of allowing your dogs only cats and turtles <laughs> okay. something like cats that yeah and chickens and chickens no 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 chickens allowed no chickens and you have to have cat litter boxes yeah, yeah. 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 and you have to have cat litter boxes yeah i'm not changing it i do that at home well i think i think we're going to commercial again so when we come back from break we will do some more of the drinking game and we'll talk some more with these fascinating people from the pasco brewers guild Go away. Be right back. Oh.
syphilis. Back. They're still here. We're They're still, still watching. People are I still am watching. I am enjoying this so much. Yeah, that like is pretty it, delicious. It tastes like apple pie. Yeah. Like yeah. seriously, it does. Yeah. Like anything. <laughs> so, so you guys. So, anybody else? Anybody else here thinking about you know starting their own brewery or you guys all going to try and get involved in, in his brewery or what? How, what's going to happen? I think about it all the time. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm constantly looking for space and. I think I might have found one today. Oh, really? Maybe. Where? Whereabouts? Oh, I don't want to let anything out yet. Uh, oh, no? Okay. Yeah, it's top the secret. The <laughs> top oh, man, secret. We'll, we'll be there. It was just a, it was a oh, ride by, and it was, uh, you know, I saw the for sale sign. I gave a call. I found out what the numbers were. Uh, I like the area is perfect. I mean, good, I, it, good. And I think the space and where you're at is the most important. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Location, location, secondary location, right? to is. then mm -hmm. great beer. You got to. We'll, we'll promote the, the heck beer. out of whatever you guys do. For yeah, cool. exactly. sure. Yeah. 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 Thank you. So we were talking to Jeff earlier about his brew system, and I do actually have a picture of his brew system. Oh, yeah. And everybody says that his brew system is the best. And I understand <laughs> that everybody. Well, not everybody, but most of the people actually come to your place to brew their beer. Is that? Uh, we've had one so far, but yeah, I got multiple members that want to come and brew some because if we can do 10 gallons. That way we got five for a competition or a festival and they get to take five home. And what was that shot? Was that that's in your garage? That's yeah, I actually turned I took my garage. I took about 170 square feet and I turned it into a brewery. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. No, I saw a picture and I can't remember who it was. Does somebody has actually a system that's by their pool? That's, That's right. you. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah, it's a little different. Notice that his system had three boil, uh, mm -hmm. three pots. Mine is a two pot system. Uh, similar, you know, one pump. He has two pumps. Uh, my brew day is a little shorter than than the traditional uh, brew uh, that Jeffrey does, and a lot of other people do. And my my method comes from Australia. That's where it started. The brew in the bag. And, uh, yeah. It's called brew in the bag. Right, right. So basically, I use a uh, very fine mesh bag and put the grains in it, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then uh, I so the bag is a filter. Oh, okay. Where the traditional is, is it's gra grains that aren't finely ground up, but just enough to to make a natural filter. Right, right. Yeah. So it's almost so, like creating like a tea bag, basically. <laughs> pretty, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, that is a good. Okay, you laughed at that too much, Corey. No, bag. <laughs> I know we said tea bag, but <laughs> tea bag. I mean, this is like yeah. a whole nother thing. But, we're talking, now, we're talking beer nickname. here. But I, I have to, you know, I do it in, on my pool deck because I have the rafters from the pool screen, and I put a pulley up there and. I hoist the bag out because the wet grains. It, it's pretty you know, heavy. Yeah, yeah. So the bag is pounds. up and down into the. No, 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 no. It's it's in it and then it's out. It's no. in and out. Yeah, it's so not it's in not, and it's out. It's not dunking. No, it's, it's not, not like British oh, dunking. It's not, not tea bagging. Tea bagging the, yeah. yeah. What? Not quite. <laughs> what? So, so Let's stick it, together. Here, right? What? What? Into it with his forehead. So it's it's that that method is from Australia. Yes, the Australian tea bag. So it has absolutely nothing with having to have a kangaroo or a wallaby with you while you brew your uh, beer? It'd be hard to get one. <laughs> yeah. I'd, that'd be well, kind of cool. A guy. I would love to have you know a kangaroo a around the brewery. <laughs> you know, that would be neat. I know a guy in the wallaby I, game. I have two pretty... cocker spaniels, though, that, that lick up everything. So. Oh, that's true. I mean, I saw pictures. They love it when I can. I have a three-legged dog that loves beer. She's yeah. crazy for it. Who doesn't yeah. love beer? Yeah. Who doesn't really? Love drank two if you don't love beer, you should not be watching this show. Right. Well, right. That's what I'm I can promise you. Anybody who doesn't love beer is not watching the exactly. show. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What about you? you know, what type of system do you have, Angela? Uh, we have a five-gallon all grain. We actually do our boiling out by the pool as well. Oh. Wow. Uh, so it's. So is there any reason why you guys pick? The pool area? Is well, it? well, I, I can probably okay. tell you why because I have. And a you can lunch. drink while you're brewing, and <laughs> exactly. it's a nice day. Uh, and then the cooling system, uh, you hook up with the hose, and the, it goes through the coil, and so you get the fresh water. The coming. water to use the cooling, because it's really important that you cool the beer down as quickly as possible yes. mm -hmm. after boil. Otherwise, you get off notes. Right. So um, you get what? it's nice. Off, off notes. notes. Off notes. Yeah. Or, or possible infection. You know, like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So one of the notes that you might get is like a uh, vegetable soup the the smell. Vegetable. Uh, oh, I don't so want to yeah, be drinking vegetable soup. Yeah. No. No, but, Angela, yeah. do you use the pool pump to cool the water? Because I do. 
I do not. I recycle <laughs> because you do use a lot of water to cool your You use your, your pool pump. pump. How does a pool well, pump? I, well, I was using my hose, you know, my regular water, and I looked at my pool pump, and I had a hose bib on the filter, and I'm like, wow, I could just use the pool pump. And I used to have to hose, and I got married. And, and, and it even heats up your pool. <laughs> yeah. Really? Well, no, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> well, but I do, but I don't waste that's any really, water. You know, that's yeah. really smart. Yeah, we put yeah. it into the pool. Yeah. I think you should run for president. Oh, thank you. <laughs> But my vote. Yeah. For Four more years. Or three, after, vote. after three more years. He's running, folks. <laughs> no, but I mean, I mean, that's like that's ingenuity. It's like, okay, I have this pool pump already. It's Puerto Rican ingenuity, is what it is. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican. I can say that. So, but I would refer to that as Puerto Rican. <laughs> now, now that's the first. No, seriously, that is the first that I've heard of that. And I mean, I've met a few home brewers. So now you let the cat out of the bag. Well, no, yeah, I think it's. I think it's a great idea. It doesn't waste water. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people will take the water, put it in their washer machine, do right. a mm -hmm. do a load of clothes with it or whatnot. And I says, you know, I, I have this pool water right here. I got ten thousand gallons of cooling water. Right. Yep. So mm -hmm. I just Crazy. recycle it. And good I mentioned idea. it to the group, and everybody said, "Wow, that's a good idea." So well, then I just I, now I have to. But you got to have a pool. You I need to dig a, a hole in my backyard, build a pool, yep. <laughs> and then I can start brewing beer. I usually have my wife just hose me down while I sing. <laughs> 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 yeah, sure. <laughs> Absolutely. I think she hoses you down for a whole other reason, but that's like a different show altogether. <laughs> well, so uh, even though we've I've been doing been, been doing this for like a year or something, and I, I love learning stuff, and and I love beer, and I'm really, you know, I really want, eventually want to start brewing beer. Mm -hmm. I think the only reason why I haven't brewed beer yet is just because of, of like I don't have a lot of room. Yeah, because I I, I do all this tinkering mechanical crap in the garage yeah, and, I know. yeah so any, anyway but yeah. uh i still feel like i can't explain to someone how to brew a beer and i should by now like i should know everything there is to know about beer yeah but i maybe i have such a terrible memory i don't know just i have a one pot retarded. system i brew on the stove in the house and which, that's is, how you which is one reason why it's good to brew outside because uh -huh. the wife doesn't like the <laughs> smell yes, that yeah, lingers for yep. eight how to long ten does the average brew take or are well, they all different? Uh, mine's, mine's probably the quickest, and it takes maybe three hours total. Right. Really? Right. We spend about, with, by the time we're cleaning up, it's eight hours. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. Four and a half. Four and a half? Yeah. yeah. And then you were five. saying before, like this beer, it's been three months that it's been... It's a lot so yeah, it's, it's three months. It'll, it'll hit its peak at four months, and it'll be really... I mean, it's smooth now, but it's going to be really... Even smoother, yeah. It's be really nice. Really? Another month, yeah. Do, how, do, are all beers like that, or...? or, or no. No, your lagers take longer. They use it. It's a different yeast. Yeah. It ferments on the bottom. Cooler temperatures. Cooler temperatures. Um, I think the actually the Germans. Yeah, it happened because they outlawed making beer in the uh, hot summer, and they made it pushed it to the colder yeah. time. And they found the yeast the by yeast accident, that, so they helped them do they it. They were doing the it in the you know in the winter time, and it was it was actually fermenting, and yeah. they were like, wow, look at this. You know, what's so, the what's the fastest beer to brew? <clears throat> a sour. A sour? I can I can turn around a sour. You can drink it in nine days. Oh really? Yeah. Gosh, I'm so impatient too. That's that's. <laughs> yeah. Thing. I don't know. Getting getting the process started and having to wait. I'm not good at waiting. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, no matter what you do, as long as you're clean at everything you do, you can drink your beer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm neat. I'm not so clean. I mean, I, I'm. Tommy clean. has stayed at my house. I, I can guarantee you that Tommy's not clean. You have to be clean. <laughs> right. that's, that's one of the main keys. You have to be clean. You have to be clean. If you don't like doing dishes, don't brew beer. Actually, yeah, that's my thing. I no, do dishes. Yeah, I'm yeah. a dish. Oh, I'm he, kind of a dish so like Clean, clean, dishes. clean. Well, though, clean, it's the Mexican clean. in me. Oh, yeah, that's the Mexican exactly. in me. Right. Yeah. The, the Rican side wants to do no work. Right. The little bit of Mexican in me loves to do dishes. Right. But I'm terrible at doing the lawn. I hate mowing the lawn. That's a weird thing. I don't know. So this one here, Angela. You're going to have this at the Temple Terrace? Yes, we will. So how much of this are you bringing with you? Five gallons. All right, everybody's going to line up super quick. I'm yeah. going to be at like... festival, it's going to go quick. It right? is, no, it's no, going to go, go quick. Fast. We got 10 different beers we're serving. Yes. Oh, really? really? Now, the 10 different beers, is that like a combined, like everybody Yeah, is... Ray's had, Ray brewed one. He brewed a Cadillac Pale Ale. Ooh. And uh, Mike brewed a super nice blonde, blonde ale. ale called Six Ways from Sunday. Oh, yeah, Which I've tasted, and it is like... Six different base grains and nothing else in it. And yeah, it's fantastic. It's so it's good. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then like uh, Angela and Eric brewed their Apple of My Pie. Mm -hmm. and I Which brewed. is like, you know, I like I said, the one that... Yeah. I've tried yours, and I tried yours, but I'm telling you... It's <laughs> it's the cat's meow. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. I've been on the run. I brewed the other seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he has and, been on the run. And, and, so do yeah. you, guys, you guys share recipes? 
Yes, yeah. we do. Yeah. Has anybody ever come up with a recipe? Everybody tries it. Everybody likes it, and then somebody says, "I'm going to brew it," and they brewed it better. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not I think yet. it's too young like that. Yet, yeah, still yeah, young. Yeah, we're still we're still young yeah, as a group. But we and will. Yeah, they've only yeah, been, we'll they've they've only been around like yes, eight months. Yes, that'd be kind of neat. Sure. Is it eight sure. months? Yeah, I, actually, this is my ninth month started brewing. So, yes. how about the, the the guild? The guild you know, is probably five, um, six months. We had our fifth meeting, so this is our sixth month coming nice. up. That's crazy. That's, That's crazy. awesome. So before we get into to any more, I do want to mention, actually, in our audience, actually, we have Jason Edwards tonight, who's the organizer of the um, Jeep fundraiser, and that's happening at the Brass Tap in Trinity on May the 7th. Beer we'll and Sunshine be there. We'll is going to be there. Be yep. there. Um, cool. this, is, right. this is to help um, team Just One More, and you can find them at justonemore.com, and they're actually raising money for the Ronald McDonald House Charities. They run um, in the Chicago Marathon on October 8th. So this is a free event. You can come out and drink some beer. And I think um, a portion of the beer sales is gonna go towards um, the Ronald McDonald House charity. There's um, raffle tickets, there's gonna be baskets and all the money goes towards charity. Beer and Sunshine is gonna put in a basket with some of our, our beautiful Beer and Sunshine t-shirts. If you don't win one, you can go online and you can buy one. And where can they buy them at, Tommy? Beer and Sunshine or Woo-hoo. Facebook. Go to exactly. Facebook, look up Beer and Sunshine. Exactly. Yeah. And um, also, I just want to mention, there's happy hours at Zephyr Hills Brewing. You get 20% off all draft tomorrow. Nice. And Great May place. the 6th and 7th, your friends at Big Top are having a... Uh, a big event? Yeah, they're having a two-day festival down there. So <clears throat> nice. I'll, be, I'll be there. I'll be there. Beer and Sunshine will be representing. And next we, Friday, of course, is Cinco de Mayo. Oh, oh. Yes, yeah, so we have a fun show planned for that We have a fun show one. planned for that. And, of course, there is so many events going on for Cinco de Mayo. It's like a taco explosion. <clears throat> well, so, yeah. And what goes better with beer but tacos? Mexican food and diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heartburn, all that good stuff. <laughs> Chicken, you're driving me crazy. Uh, he gets that one commercial and his own, he has his own Facebook page now, you know? I know, yeah, And his own Twitter account. I know. Like, seriously, have you even, yeah, whatever. Who doesn't love the chicken? Who doesn't love the chicken? We don't. We don't love him. What? <laughs> oh, come on, chicken. <laughs> he's not the best, yeah. not the best employee. No, he's not. <laughs> Although he does work for um, Chicken Feed, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty cheap. <laughs> you shouldn't say that in front of him. He'll know no. that word. Oh. Ixnay on the ick and cheese. Yeah. Sure. Maybe we yeah. could just feed him spent grains and then it's. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Then it's not going to waste. Yeah. Right. We could you know, you can make dog treats out of spent grains. Yeah. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, you can. Well. You got to feed them fast because they don't stick for very long. <laughs> they go back Mike, quick. But Mike's the dogs made love bread them. that was very good. I made good bread with it. Really? Yeah. Beer bread. Wow. Beer bread. Really yeah. good. It was nice. very good. I hate cooking, but. Yeah. <laughs> And cleaning. Yeah. Yep. So we're, yep. I guess, um, some of us, I'm pretty sure most of us are going down to Rebel Dog. Yep. Yes. They're, uh, they are releasing their summer ale. Their summer, uh, their uh, endless summer. Endless wit. summer. Yep. So we're going to go down and have, we're going to have a drink there. Then we're going to go to Infusion. Mm-hmm. Chicken, you're driving me crazy he, back there. Is he, why are you breathing so heavy? I don't know. You okay? <laughs> I don't know what's doing back there. What, you, where is Infusion, by the way? I in, haven't been there. Infusion is yet. on uh, Mitchell. Mitchell Boulevard. Yeah, in Trinity. Yeah, wow. in Trinity. Well, yeah. So you guys have been fantastic. Thank you. I'm so glad that you made it, Angela, and that we got to taste this beer. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. Yes. Appreciate it. So let's give a big round of applause for the Pasco Brewers Guild. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, studio audience. Thank you, everybody that joined us live. And uh, I guess that's a wrap. Yeah, we'll see you guys next week for Cinco de Mayo. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 It's been a rough work day, the boss is busting your ass, all you can think of is a nice cold glass of beer and sunshine, life can get you down, but you can take all the lids, nothing in this world out of beer and sunshine cannot fizz, oh it's a beautiful day for some beach and a tan, grab a few friends, put your feet in the sand with some beer and sunshine, oh, oh, beer and sunshine, yeah, beer and sunshine.